Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Terrace LAN on PC and also mobile. The second part of my video will be only for Windows, so PC player. And the third part, we're going to be inside of the game with the parameter. So it's going to be for PC gamer and also mobile player. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So the first thing that you need to change is your frame rate setting. Just go with maximum at 120. Uh, even if you just do 100 FPS, it's still good. You're going to have less input lag, so just go with the max over there. If you're playing on a really old mobile phone, don't go too crazy with that. Maybe luck at 60, it will help because 120, will, if you can run it, will take your battery out. And also, your phone will be very hot. Uh, after that, uh, you have the camera setting on PC. Uh, they recommend to go with free. I know some people don't like it. So definitely you can check the fixed camera if you want to play like a mobile player and the camera will be fixed. The camera is a bit weird in this game, so I understand why people want to use it. For the screen shake, I recommend to deactivate it. Too much noise when you're playing, like everything is moving and stuff. Not a big fan, just uncheck it. So now for the graphic parameter, I recommend to go with customize. We want to change everything by uh, yourself. So first of all, I want to mention this guide can uh, you can apply it on mobile phone or PC. It really depends on your PC, on your mobile, what type of GPU, CPU, etc. So I'm going to tell you which one has like the most impact. And after that, you can change it by yourself. So the first one is your on-screen player. This one I recommend to start at 30. Honestly, it takes a lot of resources to run it at 60. So maybe start at 30. If you're playing on a very old computer or very old mobile, even go with uh, 20, sorry. Screen rare VFX, I recommend to go with smooth. Scene FOV, I recommend to go with quality. Anti-aliasing this on this game, honestly, you don't see a lot of aliasing when you go with smooth and you're going to gain 5% in FPS over there. So super important. VFX quality, I recommend to go with smooth 4% boost in your FPS. And also it will stabilize a lot your FPS when you're fighting. Uh, so this one is huge. For resolution, you have four different options. Honestly, it, go between quality and epic. It really depends on what type of computer that you have. If you have like a, a 2K uh, monitor, definitely go with epic. Um, 1080p, it really depends again on your GPU. So do some testing. By default, movies supposed to be 4K. So they upscale it even if you don't have a 4K monitor. But uh, yeah, definitely do some testing with this one. By, for each bracket, you're going to lose 3% in your FPS. So think about it. <laughs> Post-processing, I recommend to go with smooth. You're going to get a nice 5% boost in your FPS. And also, the game will look less blurry. Honestly, post-processing at Epic with anti housing at Epic, the game looks very blurry for me. So, I'm not a huge fan. So, just go with smooth. Shadow, if you compare movie versus smooth, you can expect 12% in your FPS. So, a nice boost over there. I recommend to go with smooth. Texture quality, you can max it out at movie. Honestly, if you have like 3 to 4 gig VRAM and more on your GPU, you can run movie easily. If you have like a very old mobile phone, a very, very old computer, you're playing with an integrated GPU, go with quality. For the plant quality, I recommend to go with smooth. You're going to get another 4% boost in your FPS. At the end over there for preference, I also recommend to go uh, to don't check the window mode. I was losing a lot of FPS and also it adds input lag. Uh, you don't have this option, I think, on mobile. So it's really on PC. 
So this is pretty much my guide for Taris LAN. Uh, if you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. If you're uh, playing on mobile, again, same thing. Post me your uh, mobile phone and also the region where you're from because sometimes CPU, GPU can be different. Uh, I played the game on my S23 Ultra and honestly, it was pretty smooth. So any question about mobile, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!